keep watching if you want to know how I went from this kind of curly uh, uh, to this kind of curly. Yes, friend. Hi guys, it's your girl Jennifer and welcome to my channel, Jen's Effect. I'm so excited to finally be able to say that. It's literally been a long time coming and the one thing that stopped me from doing this was fear. I was just scared of what people might say about me, scared of what, how I might look to others and you know what, I don't care anymore. This year is my year. This year is the year I kick fear in the ass and I do whatever the hell I want because I'm a great talent, and you will see. So don't let fear hold you back from doing anything that you wanna do. Even uploading this video, I feel like I just achieved a thousand goals all in one, just because I was so afraid, so, so afraid, and now I'm not. So today, I'm going to introduce you guys to the Hair Gunk Miracle. It literally brought my hair back from the dead. All right, so I just can't go on and watch this video and not explain these bushy eyebrows on my face. I'm currently undergoing a thicker, fuller, fleekier eyebrow experiment, so just bear with me, folks, okay? My curls were gone. And as you can see right now, super bouncy. I mean, I still have a lot of work to do in the front. The front is more damaged than any, any other parts of my hair because I was every morning taking a flat iron and flattening the front of my hair, so I was like, look at crazy. Before you get started, I suggest you get a t-shirt that you don't really care for um, before you apply it because I'm Messy Betty and I made a hot mess when I was doing this. So trust and believe, you will need like a t-shirt or something to put on so you don't mess up t-shirt I like to keep it in overnight like I have to keep this in overnight it has to be more than eight hours just because I've never um, kept it in less than that like I always do it right before I go to sleep so I can sleep the night with it so you want to put a towel on your if you decide to sleep in it if you don't that's totally fine keep it in for as long as you want but if you decide to sleep in it I suggest you put a towel you want to put the t-shirt that you use on top of your pillow and Honestly, I would say cover it up, but when I did that and I covered my head up, I believe it was like a like a shower cap. It gave me a headache. I don't know why. I think the peppermint oil is so strong. It can clearly, like literally, it can clear your soul because it's strong. But I think it was that, like keeping it all in my, like in the shower cap kind of just made me movie. So I took it off and I let it air out. I stuck with it like blah, whatever. When you do rinse this out, you want to rinse it out with like warm water or whatever. Scrub it out because there's carrots in there. Those carrots, you might see little bits and bits and pieces of orange. So you want to make sure you really scrub it like how your mom makes you wash your panties. Wait, that's like a... Spanish thing I think like they used to make us take our drawers off wash our panties in the shower I don't know if this is a Dominican thing I'm not sure but if it's weird don't get creeped out okay so you want to scrub that stuff out your hair when you put the conditioner in rinse with cold water that's gonna lock in the moisture and that's very important because for our curls to be curly moisture is key I suggest you get a satin pillowcase I just bought mine it's um from Target hold on <laughs> I'm back. I got this at Target and it's a satin pillowcase it goes for about 10 bucks and when I slept with this the first night my hair was not frizzy like my hair usually in the morning I wake up looking like Medusa it's bad but my hair it was not as frizzy it was like the least amount of frizz I've ever seen so I definitely recommend it you know how like curly girls we have to keep restyling our hair because it gets kind of frizzy if you sleep with this it won't be as difficult to style your hair for the day so this hair mask is perfect for recovering from heat damage or hair growth for hair breakage for dandruff for lack of moisture dryness it's literally heaven sent so i think that's pretty much it let's get it started so here are all the ingredients I use in my Miracle Hair Gunk, minus my Shea Moisture Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-In Conditioner, the carrots, and the aloe vera. But we do have the organic shea butter, egg, castor oil, peppermint oil, coconut oil, avocado, and olive oil. 
So we're gonna take our avocado, we're gonna cut it in half. We don't need to use the whole thing. I mean, if you're gonna do this mask with someone else, then you probably wanna use the whole avocado, but I'm just using it on my own head. And usually I do have some left over, but I'll just call my best friend, ask her to, you know, let me put it in her hair. And you can do the same thing too, because it literally works for everybody. And it's just an amazing, healthy, nutritious, basically hair food and it's just you can see the results almost instantly trust and believe especially if after you wash it out you rinse the final condition with um cold water and you sleep with a silk pillow you'll definitely see less frizz bouncier curls trust me honey i've been doing this so as you can see, I'm just really adding all the ingredients into the blender. I don't really measure anything. I just eyeball it to my liking to what I feel is enough. Um, and you can do the same thing or you can measure it to save product as well. You know me, I'm a hot mess and I just <laughs> do what I want basically. I'm chopping up the carrots um, now we're gonna also get the aloe vera and pour it in it looks like that because I blended it I didn't want to leave the plant in my fridge so I just blended it all up into the other container now we're gonna blend it all together and it's gonna be hard especially because the carrots like if they're really hard it's gonna be hard so like you know how you see that little piece of carrot right there just wanna punch it in make it go also to get the consistency really thick and smooth you want to keep adding water like you'll notice when it's okay when it looks like almost a pudding as you can see you see how it pours out so smoothly just add water until you see that consistency and there it is my miracle hair gunk now let's apply boo let's apply Okay, so first I'm going to part my hair into four sections and each section I'll be applying the organic shea butter. I just find that this helps soften my hair, especially with all the products that I had in it. It also helps detangling, so when I do apply the hair gunk, it would be way easier to apply. This is my first YouTube video. 